Greetings and welcome to my channel, Gorgeous Souls. This is Messages from Lexi and I'm incredibly excited and honored to be back with another Timeless Pick a Card reading. Today, I'm just going to channel some quick ancestor messages, but um, this reading is very special and it is very different than any other reading I've done before, okay? I am on day two of a gratitude ritual to my ancestors and spirit guides and they gave me the inspiration and the permission to channel messages for you guys directly from their pop-up altar okay so this is very sacred to me i'm very honored to have you here um, normally i have items for my shop you guys can choose from but for this reading i'm going to do something different okay go ahead and close your eyes now take in a deep breath and release I want you to imagine a beautiful white light filling up your crown chakra, and I want you to call upon your ancestors, your spirit guides, God, the universe, whatever you acknowledge as your divine source. And I want you to ask them to show you a number between one and five so that you may hear the messages that are meant to resonate with you for your highest good. Once you receive the number from your divine source, you can head on over to the description box and you will find the timestamps there, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions about my altar, I may upload a video on my second channel, but you can also contact me and I have a couple options on my website where I can help you guys out with those type of questions, okay? Without further ado, I'm going to skip my normal spiel and I'm just going to go ahead and jump into your readings um, just due to the nature of what I'm working with and where I'm reading from today. Greetings and welcome Pio 1. Let's go on ahead and get your messages, okay? I am using the Melanated Messages Afro Oracle deck designed by me. Ancestors and spirit guides, I gave you so much thanks. I gave you so much thanks for allowing me to channel at your altar, at your space. And I ask that you help me connect with the ancestors and spirit guides of Pile One so that they may hear the messages that resonate for their highest good. And keep in mind, y'all, the sun has just risen, the planes are awake, the cars are awake, the humans are awake, and the ancestors are awake. So bear with me, okay? Pile One. Ooh, wow, that popped up on the plate. Good deeds from your past are being returned to you in the form of strangers and unexpected good news. So our ancestors are letting you know that you have done a lot of good. You've put out good energy. You've helped people in their times of need. And you will be receiving good back to you as a result. Next, we have whatever you have let go of is being replaced with something better. Now, I will say there are some different timelines here. Some of you guys have already released what doesn't serve you. Some of you guys are still struggling with if you should or should not. Your ancestors are saying yes. When you release what doesn't serve you, you are making room for something better. And to follow that up, we have taking a leap of faith towards your goals dreams and desires will have a positive outcome so not only will releasing the old be good but taking it a step further and moving towards your goals dreams or desires will amplify that energy will have an even stronger positive effect on your life so now is the time of transformation i'm seeing a vision of the death card okay endings bring forth new beginnings and I'm seeing that's what's happening for you guys. We also have stand your ground and defend your beliefs. Do not cower, okay? And this does not mean that you have to engage in conflict. This means that even if there are people who don't understand your dreams or goals, even if there are people who are trying to get you to resist this change, stand true to you. Stand up for yourself because you need this change and it is in your highest good okay so with that being said i'm going to channel a message for you guys out of my oracle book ancestors and spirit guides of pile one fire up the bullshit detector and see things for what they are okay it's time for you guys to unblock your third eye chakra to get in touch with your intuition and to take off those rose colored glasses there is a little bit of BS around you. And when you take off those rose colored glasses and clear off your third eye chakra, you'll be able to detect where it is coming from. 
So that's what I have for you guys. Pile one beautiful reading. I'm sending you love. Go ahead, subscribe, like if you enjoyed, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Greetings and welcome, pile two. Let's get this energy to see what do the ancestors need you to know in this moment in time. Ancestors and spirit guides, I give thanks, I give gratitude for allowing me to channel these sacred messages for Pile 2 in your sacred space. I ask that you assist me in connecting with the ancestors and spirit guides of Pile 2 so that they may receive the messages that are in their highest good. Ancestors, thank you so much. And y'all, the sun is up. <laughs> That means the people are up, the planes are up, the helicopters are up, the ancestors are up. So bear with me, okay? <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's a lot. So first off, your ancestors are saying you need to spend some more time with them, okay? Spend more time connecting with your ancestors, known and unknown. Spend some more time at the altar. Build you an altar. Pray to them, call out to them, sing to them, dance with them, feed them, drink with them. Water, tea, coffee, of course. <laughs> Whatever is legal, right? <laughs> but spend more time connecting with your ancestors, whether it be through meditation, altar work, cards, crystals, nature. Connect with your ancestors. They're trying to deepen the bond. They're trying to deepen the connection. They have more messages to send you, but first you must spend more time connecting with them in order to receive them, in order to deepen that connection with them. And then next we have, your ancestors love to watch you embrace the experiences they were unable to see in their lifetimes. Your ancestors are watching down on you. You know, they got their little bucket of popcorn. <laughs> they got their glasses on. And they're watching you live your life up like it's a movie. They may not have been able to experience all the joys. They may not have been able to pursue all the things they wanted to in their lifetimes. But it's almost just as good, if not better, watching you do the things that they didn't have the opportunity, the time, the courage to do or go after. The steps you are or aren't taking will have a long lasting impact for better or for worse. Your ancestors are stressing that the good that you are doing, the foundation you're trying to build, it will be here for a long time. There will be a legacy, but they're also emphasizing that the more time you spend with that lover, that job, that, that home, that person that does not serve you, the longer it's gonna have an impact on your life for the worse. So you get to choose what actions you take. You may not get to choose how strong of an impact or how long of an impact they will have on your life, but you get to choose the type of impact. You get to choose the, the direction in which you would like to steer yourself. And your ancestors are saying, choose wisely, steer wisely. You are the captain of your own ship. And you want that ship to make it to the destination that you have in mind safely. So steer wisely. Now we have answers will be unveiled when you are meant to see them. Now is not the time. There is a matter that's been pressing you. For some of you, it's reaching obsession. For others of you, it's constant worry, constant wonder, constant dreaming. For many of you, this has to do with love. When will that business take off? When will I go viral? When will I find my soulmate, my future spouse, whatever? And it doesn't have to be, but for most of you, that's what I'm picking up on. And your ancestors are saying that if you were meant to know the answer, then you would know it. Right now, you need to turn your attention towards what actions are you currently taking? And are they steering you in the direction that you would like to be? That's where your focus needs to be on. And your ancestors are saying when it's time for you to uncover the answers to your questions, it will happen. But right now you need to focus on, are you taking steps that are aligning with what you would like to call into your future? We have jealous friends, family, or colleagues threaten your success. Firmer boundaries are needed. And that's, you know, pretty self-explanatory, right? Now, y'all, I live in Vegas. Even though it's 7 a.m., folks are still riding with the rock music, right? So if y'all can hear that, I'm sorry. I actually don't mind. I like to hear people alive. But if y'all can hear that, I'm sorry. And if you can't, then disregard, okay? <laughs> 
Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and channel a message from my oracle book, Ancestors and Spirit Guides. Ancestors and Spirit Guides, what does Pile 2 need to hear? Why so hasty? Think about it. Exactly. Why so hasty? Not all the answers are meant to be unveiled. Think about it. Think about the steps you are taking. And if they really line up with where you want to be in your long-term future, three, five, 10, 15 years from now. So that's what I have for you guys, Pile 2. Super awesome reading. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like. Otherwise, I'm sending you love, wishing you the best, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Greetings and welcome, Pile 3. Let's get this energy to see what do the ancestors need you to know in this moment in time. Ancestors and spirit guides, I gave you so much love, gratitude, and thanks for allowing me to channel these sacred messages for Pile 3 in your sacred space. And I ask that you assist me in connecting with the ancestors and spirit guides of Pile 3 so that I may relay messages to them that are in alignment with their highest good. Ancestors and spirit guides, Pile 3. Ancestors and spirit guides of Pile 3. Ancestors and spirit guides. Oh, wow. Wow, all the cards fell over. <laughs> well, with the exception of like two. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start off with the cards that fell over because clearly they have the strongest messages here for you. <laughs> so spend more silent time reading invest in literature that catches your eye you guys have questions you guys have questions answered would be unveiled when you are meant to see them now is not the time and the reason why now is not the time for you to receive the answer to your questions is not so much because of the physical timing, but because you're not searching in the right places. Now is not the time for your questions to be answered because now is the time where you're looking to Google or you're looking to the wrong places to get the, the answers you seek. The answers you seek will be found in literature. They will be found in text. They will be found in books. And you will receive the answer to your questions when you start to invest in literature, when you start to read more, when you start to seek the answers through books. That's not to say that it's impossible to find answers through the internet or through your intuition, but right now you have a very specific question or very specific confusion that you are dealing with. And that direction or those answers will be found through reading and not just any old book but use your intuition or ask your divine source to guide you to the proper texts the proper books and you will be shocked at just how many things just seem to click how the dots seem to be connected and I don't think I gave y'all this morning, but the sun is up, okay? The sun has officially risen, so the people are up, the ancestors are up, the, the planes are up, the helicopters are up, so bear with me if you hear anything, okay? <laughs> and with that being said, we have a stranger with beneficial connections will soon test you, network. Be more friendly, be more open to starting a conversation with strangers be more open to talking about your goals your dreams your aspirations what it is you're struggling with what it is you want to achieve because i see there is someone who's being sent to you specifically by your ancestors and your spirit guides and this person is meant to benefit you whether it is connecting you with more knowledge connecting you with money connecting you with love this person is meant to benefit you and this opportunity is being presented to you and all you need to do to make the most of it is be open with strangers be open to being polite to people you don't know be open to connecting with individuals even if you don't necessarily have a reason to initially and it will pay off greatly okay focus on being more sweet more open we have a lack of inspiration appears when you venture off your soul's path and again what did i say the confusion the lack of direction for a lot of you this has to do with your soul's path or what is next in my life Am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Why do I feel blocked? How do I connect with these spirits? What's, what, what's next? Why? How? All these questions. And you guys have taken some steps that aren't fully in alignment with your soul's path. And that's okay because it happens to all of us. 
but by reading and exploring and asking your ancestors to guide you to the proper information you will begin to see how you ventured off your path and what steps need to be taken to get back in the proper direction and this will give you a sense of inspiration a sense of purpose happiness peace drive that you feel like you've been lacking We have opportunities are not waiting for you. Grab them. Now is a competitive time, okay? Either you can act now or you can procrastinate and miss out on these opportunities. And we have a change in environment will bring you more opportunities. Spend time in different areas. Moves are favorable. So some of y'all need a vacation. Some of y'all need to form bonds and connections with people in an area outside of yours. And for others of you, you need to just straight up move. You need a new home. You need to be in a new city, state, province, country. And this move or this time spent in another area will help bring you the opportunities that you are searching for. So now I'm going to channel a message out of my Oracle book, Ancestors and Spirit Guides. Let's get a message for Pile 3. Can you see yourself through their eyes? Can you see yourself through their eyes? And what's very interesting is I'm seeing that this is going to benefit you in a networking way, okay? Can you see yourself through the eyes of someone who is not you? This will help you through networking. This will help you to make, <laughs> look, I'm over here like it's my hair, right? The plant like it's my hair. <laughs> But being able to see yourself through other people's eyes will allow you to network efficiently. It will allow you to make adjustments to your behavior if necessary. And it'll allow you to know what actions and steps and words to speak and take so that you can make the best first impression and continuing and lasting impression, y'all. <laughs> These leaves are trying to turn into my bangs, okay? The bang. <laughs> So that's what I have for y'all. Pile three. Look, it's not all seriousness at the altar. Okay, I'd be laughing and twerking with my ancestors. But that's what I have for y'all. Pile three. Super beautiful message. Go ahead, like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Otherwise, I'm sending you love, wishing you the best. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Greetings and welcome, pile four. Let's get this energy and see what do the ancestors need you to know at this time. Ancestors and spirit guides, thank you so much thank you so much i give you so much gratitude and love for allowing me to channel messages hold on now we ain't ready yet ancestors i give you so much love and gratitude for allowing me to channel these messages in your sacred space and i ask that you assist me in connecting with the ancestors and spirit guides of pile four so that i may relay messages to them that serve their highest good ancestors will get these messages for pile four Wow, okay. So, the first card, <laughs> the one that's trying to get my attention the most is step outside of the box you've locked yourself in. It's time to seek out new experiences. How are you restricting yourself? How are you keeping yourself confined? How are you preventing yourself from experiencing all the sweetness, all the joy, all the fun, all the adventure, all the love that life has to offer? And what can you do to put yourself out there so that you can experience it before it is too late? The reason why you put yourself in the box is because there is someone who has tried to or who has indeed taken your power away. This could be a parent, this could be a boss, this could be a lover. It could be through bullying, abuse, control, manipulation. But this person's opinions has had such an impact on your subconscious that now when you're making decisions for yourself, you are restricting what it is that you, you are experiencing based off the opinions or the words or the actions of this oppressor, of this bully or abuser. The opinion of your oppressor does not hold any value. Now, we have fearing your ancestors is fearing yourself. In what way are you afraid to connect with your ancestors? Are you afraid to make an altar? Are you afraid to light a candle for them? Are you afraid to give them offerings? Are you afraid to just communicate with them? What about connecting with your ancestors brings you fear? And how can you move past that fear so that you can deepen this connection with them? You are 
a walking testament of the strength, the power, the love, the resilience of your ancestors. Just your existence is a testament to all of what your ancestors are capable of. You are a piece of them, your spirit, your soul, your blood. You have the energy, you have the essence of the thousands and thousands of ancestors who walked this earth before you. So what is it that's preventing you from fully connecting with them? What is it that you're afraid of? Is it judgment of others? Like, what is it? What are you afraid of? And how can you let go of those fears so that you can deepen this bond with your ancestors? which will in turn also help you deepen the bond with yourself, your own spirit, your own soul, your own body, your own mind, your own heart. And we have whatever you have let go of is being replaced with something better. I feel there's a temptation here of you guys wanting to run back to whatever it is that you've let go of and your ancestors are saying, no, it's being replaced with something better. So do not regress, do not take steps backward, only move forward. So now, I'm going to channel a message for you guys out of my oracle book. Pile 4 messages, ancestors and spirit guides, pile 4 messages. Don't sweat the minor details when there's a big picture to absorb. Wow, this is the first time I've gotten that message from this book. Don't sweat the minor details when there's a bigger picture to absorb. Ma bang. <laughs> I was joking with the previous pile that the plant leaves want to be my new bangs. <laughs> but that's what I have for you guys, pile for beautiful messages. I really am sending you so much love. Go ahead, subscribe, like if you enjoyed, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Greetings and welcome pile five. Last but certainly not least, let's get this energy to see what do the ancestors need you to know at this moment in time, okay? So, ancestors and spirit guides, thank you so much. I have such a deep gratitude, such a deep love towards you. Thank you for allowing me to channel these sacred messages in your sacred space. Ancestors, I ask that you allow me to connect with the spirit guides and ancestors of Pile 5 so that I may relay the messages that are in their highest and best good. Ancestors, let's get this energy. Ancestors, let's get this energy. What does Pile 5 need to hear? What is in their highest good ancestor messages? Ooh. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. But I'm going to take it. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. <laughs> and they actually all fell over. Like, okay. They got a lot to tell you. So, firstly, we have opportunities are not waiting for you. Grab them. Now is a competitive time, okay? Procrastination, fear, Planning out every detail, it's not working in your favor at this moment in time. What y'all need at this moment in time is action. You need to embrace that full energy, that chariot energy. Even if you don't have all the details ironed out, even if you got a little bit of fear, just go for it. Do it. If you guys wait, if you procrastinate, if you allow fear to take over, if you plan out every detail, by the time you look up, those opportunities will be gone. Someone else would have heeded it, you know? Right now is not about who's the most prepared, who's the most fearless. Now is about who's about that action. Whoever is about that action is going to get this opportunity. Whoever is about that action is going to be eating, is going to be getting loved on, okay? So you guys gotta understand that whatever it is you've been procrastinating, whatever it is you've been afraid of taking steps towards, or just planning heavily towards, just, just, just take a step back and then leap. You know, quit waiting, 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 waiting. Because by the time that plan is complete, or by the time you get rid of all that fear, or by the time you work through that pro procrastination, that opportunity is going to be gone. And you're going to be stuck there like, I wasted all that time preparing or working myself up. And now there's nothing for me to prepare for. There's nothing for me to, you know, invest in. So your ancestors are saying right now is about action. Now is not about who's the most prepared or fearless. Now it's about who's the one who's going to jump first. Who's going to be the one who embraces that fool and that chariot energy and grabs who goes after and grabs what it is that they want, okay? And then we have your ancestors love to watch you embrace experiences they were unable to see in their lifetime. So not only are these opportunities something that you want, this is also very special because your ancestors didn't get the opportunities that you have presented towards you. So not only are they saying like, look, we want you to benefit from them, go, but they're also saying like, 
allowing yourself the space to go after your dreams your goals these opportunities is honoring yourself but also a form of veneration to the ancestors going after the opportunities and making the most off of, uh, uh, excuse me going after these opportunities and making the most of these opportunities because you know your ancestors weren't given the same chance you know your ancestors weren't given the same opportunities you know your ancestors were dealt a more unfair hand of cards than you and so in honor of them you live your best life you go after every opportunity that's presented to you and you don't take them for granted Taking a leap of faith towards your goals, dreams, and desires will have a positive outcome. So again, it's not like, you know, taking these leaps of faith are just going to be in vain or going after these opportunities will be in vain. It's a form of ancestor veneration, yes, but it's also going to work out in your highest good. It's also going to bring you sweetness and rewards that you are seeking and better. And what's interesting is you are getting what you want in an unconventional way. So understand... You have a certain expectation of what the path is supposed to look like. And for most of you, it is planning it out, being fearless, being courageous, taking your time. But the unconventional way is leaping first, thinking later, taking the action first and then keeping your fingers crossed. The unconventional way is, you know, <laughs> this reminds me of a meme I posted on my Instagram before, you know, I redesigned it. And it was like, what is it? Earth signs and water signs looking at fire and air signs when they take a risk and it succeeds or something of that nature that's not what it said verbatim but this is what i'm getting it's like you guys are the energies that like to plan that like to be stable that like to be logical but now you're being pushed to embrace that energy of being free being you know uh, a little bit reckless a little bit because the fool is a little bit reckless not too much but a little bit you know being just being uh, just free, just freeing yourself from needing to plan, from needing to just do all these things. And by just allowing this passionate, adventurous, and slightly reckless side of you out, you will be receiving the rewards and the sweetness that you seek. And it's going to be unconventional for you because this isn't the energy that you normally embrace. Now, for the few of you where you already did this and you're having strong anxiety because it's not how you're used to behaving or taking steps, your ancestors are saying, good job, you did the right thing. Now sit back and allow the sweetness, the rewards to come towards you. But for most of you, you haven't taken that leap yet, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and channel messages for you out of this oracle book. Ancestors and Spirit Guides of Pio 5. What messages do you have for Pio 5? Normal is a setting on the dryer. Okay? See, so you guys are playing it safe, doing the normal thing. Normal is a setting on a dryer. You are not a dryer, okay? You are a human. You are not meant to be normal. You are not meant to do things in a normal way. And it, it, literally, what did I say? You are getting what you want in an unconventional way. That's what it said on the card. And we have normal as a setting on the dryer, okay? So now it's not about conventional. Now it's not about normal. Now it's not about tried and true. Now it's not about safe, stable route. Now it's about the unconventional, the unnormal, the fearless way of being and that's going to bring you everything that you want okay let's see there we go there we go <laughs> so that's what i have for you guys pile five super beautiful reading if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like otherwise i'm sending you love and i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day